It's a Christmas. All right, everyone. So it is time for Secret Santa. Woo! What is this? Dab? Is this dabbing? <laughs> I don't know. I saw my arms like this. So I'm like, what is, is this? I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my lameness. But anyways, let's get started and open up our Secret Santa. If you guys want to see the other Secret Santa gifts and what everyone else got in the group, then definitely check out their channels. Um, it will be like chain reactions. So whoever is, whoever is my Secret Santa will be in the description box. Or everyone, everyone's channel is going to be in the description box down below, I think. So definitely check that out if you want to see what everyone else got in our Secret Santa event for our group of friends. Anyway. This is my box and I already know who it's from because the return address said their name on it. So I already knew who got me, but I'm really excited to open it up because this specific package has to be... Sorry guys, I had left the, um, the clothing dryer on. But anyway, let's open it up and take a peek at what I got from my secret Santa. Oh god, I'm really excited. And please don't die battery, I see you only have a few percent left. Please don't die. Whoa. 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 Oh my gosh, the packaging is so cute. Why did I fail so miserably at mine? Oh my god, it's even all individually wrapped. What? What? Oh my gosh. Oh no. I can already... I already know where this got packaged based on what's written on it. No, okay, so let's read the card first. So this is the card. Let's open it up. And it will be the reveal to you guys on who it's from. Season's greetings. Christmas. Oh my gosh, why is this so nice? God, I feel like I slacked so much on mine. I was in such like a panic to do it. Oh my gosh, this card is really long, so I'm not going to read it to you guys because it's a bit, I think it's a bit personal. But um, anyway, my secret Santa was Rachel, and I haven't seen her. Basically, the beginning card says she's really upset, and I'm upset too that we haven't seen each other since she visited me in Korea, which I actually didn't vlog while I was living in Korea because she was there for such a limited time, so I wanted to keep it like personal and just like us and getting to know each other. But yeah, she visited me for three, two days in Korea. She stayed at my apartment with me and my boyfriend when I lived there and um, yeah, I showed her around Cafe Street in Jeongjadong and like took her around out for dinner and cafe and brunch and breakfast. And it was a really great time. We had like waffles and shopping. It was so good. But anyway, thank you Rachel so much for the sweet card. Um, thank you so much. I hope we can see each other before I end up leaving Japan, which I'm not too sure yet when we'll be. But I hope I see you again when you come to Tokyo next. Oh, I miss you. It would be nice to get together. But anyway, thank you so much for these not subpar packaged gifts. These are so amazing. Like, you should see mine. Well, you probably will, but girl, girl, this packaging is on point. I'm going to start with the smallest one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Why did I... Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I need to cut this. Eh. What is it? What is it? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. What is it? Is it a gel eyeliner? I think it's gel eyeliner. Ooh, by Kos. Ooh, just what I needed actually. Oh, I wish I opened this earlier because I ran out of all my gel or liquid eyeliners. And I, oh, that looks like a nice one. Facio gel eyeliner or liquid eyeliner. Oh, if only I got this earlier, it would have been perfect timing because I just ran out of my liquid eyeliners. Oh, wow. <gasps> this one would be really good for like filling in. Oh my god, it's so pigmented. Well, this one's a really nice one. Really good for making really thick, bold cat eyes, I think. Thank you, Rachel! I'm excited to use that in future tutorials. 
Next, I'm going to go with the second biggest one, which I already can tell I think is from Frank Frank because the wrapping paper says Frank Frank. If anyone doesn't know, it's kind of like a home decorating store in Japan with really like high quality stuff. I'm so excited. I can't believe you got me something from Frank Frank Girl. I feel like you went over budget. Ooh. Sparkle Ice Cube. Enjoy picnic and outdoor. What? Oh my god, wait. Does it glow in the dark? I have no idea. I feel like it does. I feel like it does. Open. Let's open it. Eh. What? What is it? I don't understand. What is it? I don't know what this is. Rachel, please tell me what this is. I have no idea. I want to know so badly. I'm so confused. Enjoy in picnic or outdoor and outdoor sparkle ice cube I don't get it so you freeze them and you put them in your mixed drinks or do they glow I feel like I want them to glow or they're just for putting in your mixed drinks if so that's really cool and I can't wait to put this in my mixed drinks ah maybe the next time I have someone over for girls night we can drink and I can put it in I don't know I hope that's correct what it's for please tell me oh my god so cool though like, actually, if you put this in your cocktail or something, or in your cooking, that'd be really cool. Okay, moving on to the final gift, which is the biggest one with, once again, absolutely amazing packaging. Rachel, you're showing me up so much, I can't believe it. Okay, let's open this. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, it's from Lush! You guys, you might be surprised, but I've actually never, ever owned anything from Lush before. Ever. I've only used, like, soaps from, like, someone's house once. I've never done anything. <gasps> a bath bomb! I've never done a bath bomb before! Oh my god! It smells so good! Oh my god, it smells so good! Oh my god! Oh, it smells so good. What one is this, though? Oh my gosh, thank you, Rachel. My first bath bomb. My first ever Lush product. You think I would have, because I do beauty YouTube. You think I would be in on this Lush trend, and because Taylor is like my friend, who is obsessed. Oh my god, this smells so good. Lord of Misrule. Lush. My phone is so slow. Lord of Miss God, Lord of Miss Rule. Miss Rule Bath. Um, misbehave while you bathe. Reveal, oh, revel in your bath with this mischievous balm that features a spicy herbal blend of patchouli and black pepper oil. That's what I smell the patchouli. I love patchouli. Inspired by the ruler of the pagan Feast of Fools, Lord of Misrule has a deep green exterior that slowly throffs away to reveal a rich wine-colored center. Ooh. Just like at the Feast of Fools, when the wine starts to flow, the popping candy crackles and the festivities begin. And it's vegan. Whoa, that sounds so up my alley. I'm so ready. You guys don't even know. Oh my gosh, should I do this tonight? I want to, but um, maybe I'll save it for another time because, you guys, my bathtub's really ugly and I feel like it would do shame to this bath bomb. So, actually, in a few, in a couple days, I'm hosting a um, Christmas party at a very nice Airbnb, so maybe I'll do it there for you guys. And if not, you'll see it later, I guess. Oh my gosh, Rachel, though, thank you so much. These gifts were so nice, so pretty. Oh, and the packaging was so nice. Thank you. I hope I get to see you soon while I'm still in Japan. Ah. 
So anyway, you guys, if you want to find out what everyone else got for this Secret Santa event, check out the channels down below because everyone included in this Secret Santa event will be listed in the description box down below. So do check them out to see what everyone else got and to find out who I got for my Secret Santa. Anyways, that's it for this part of the vlog. Let's go get some food because I am hungry. I have not eaten anything yet today because I have been filming all day, all day.